Good morning, good evening, wherever you're at in the world. Welcome to Cryptocurrency Theory. I'm Chadwick. Let's talk about this recent uh, crypto crash, whatnot. We've already recovered. Let's just jump right into it. Let's get to the point. Let's get to the nitty gritty of this stuff. We've already recovered quite nicely. Um, I want to show you guys a couple things um, that I, th I think you'll find um, pretty interesting. You might already know this stuff, but uh, it's good to kind of retouch it. So. This is a graph of the entire crypto market cap, yeah? It is a graph that shows crypto in its entirety, uh, where this stuff is going all the way back since 2013. Uh, and this has been put together, brought to you by Binance. This is part of CoinMarketCap, recently purchased by Binance, I think about two years ago or something like that. So what's interesting here, guys, is we've been, even though these increasing volatility among the altcoins like Dash, Zcash, some of the other ones that have recently crashed. Uh, Bitcoin SV dived 39%, touching 17 US dollars on Friday night, guys. It's already rebounded uh, from there. So a lot of these cryptocurrencies have rebounded from these, uh, these lows. So we've been at over a trillion dollars basically since March. Uh, if we want to go back towards all the way at the beginning of the year, you know, we've touched under a trillion in January. Um, you know, February we went back up over a trillion. So the only the only time we've touched under a trillion technically is uh, March and January of this year. Even with this recent crash of all the stuff you're hearing with Binance, all this stuff you're hearing with um, you know these delistings of these privacy coins, all these negative things about what's going on. We've been pushing forward with the halving on Dash. We're pushing forward with the halving on Litecoin. Uh, we got Zcash halving. All these things happening uh, this year with cryptocurrency, yet um, you know the news has been very negative about crypto in the last coming weeks. Um, even up till this Hong Kong, um, you know, this Hong Kong thing, which I thought was going to push crypto maybe even to the one point five trillion dollar market cap, which is uh, you know quite 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 a um, ambitious prediction. But nonetheless, we are holding over a trillion U.S. dollars on the overall crypto market cap. You know, we're up almost a thousand different cryptos this this month. We've added about a thousand different cryptocurrencies. We were about twenty four thousand. Up here in this top left corner, uh, you'll see the number of cryptocurrencies in the market right up here. Uh, you know, we got 641 exchanges. We have um, basically, you know, gained another thousand different cryptocurrencies. And um, I, I don't see this slowing down. I mean, at this point, uh, when I got into crypto, there was a little bit under a thousand different cryptos. There's, you know, 25x from that point now. So uh, we keep increasing in price. We keep increasing in. Uh, market cap overall crypto security we keep increasing in hash power uh, around the board and we have seen some of these coins that have you know frankly they might have just been overvalued this decentraland coin um, a lot of these coins are simply just way overvalued and uh, this is kind of just putting everything in line uh, where it should be i mean uh, neo was one of the best per per performing coins of this year uh, and it's now dipped over 25 percent losing about a quarter of its value uh, in the last week, um, you know, and, and this probably will, this probably will rebound quicker than you think. We've already seen almost a complete rebound on coins like Bitcoin Gold. Um, some of these other cryptocurrencies I was taking a look at, like we've completely rebounded. So when we see coins that have like fallen and have completely rebounded from these lows, like looking at coins like Augur, uh, Zcash even popping up here a little bit today on this Sunday afternoon. Um, we're getting a recovery, and this is really good. This is healthy. This is going to signify a larger, broader move if BTC Core and Ethereum and some of these other major market cap coins can press out of this weekly drop uh, that we experienced Friday evening when I made the live stream. Basically, as these prices were collapsing, like I said, Bitcoin SV hit all the way to 17 US dollars. For a brief few seconds, it collapsed 39%, hitting all time lows. And uh, like I said, it's been rebounding. And that's just one coin, Dash, Zcash. They all basically crashed um, while I was doing the live stream. And um, we haven't really seen that crash accelerate. In fact, we've seen a pretty good recovery on pretty much every coin. I mean, Dash still under 30 US dollars. 
but um, I'm very hopeful and reasonable at the same time. I think that if the market cap of cryptocurrency can stay above a trillion dollars, like we've been doing pretty much all of this year, with the exception of January and March, um, this is basically, you know, this is basically just uh, uh, as good as it's going to get for now. We're not going to we're not going to have major uh, price pushes until we do. Um, so, you know, we just got to basically stay in this shit, um, hope for the best and keep buying cryptocurrency when it's at these low, low prices, because even though it might allude to you that the graph is going down and things might be bad, uh, if you are p picking up these cryptocurrencies, Dash, Dcash, some of these other ones that have pretty much price collapsed over the last week, this could end up very well for you in the short term even, because these coins will 1x here. Uh, you know, we, we were just almost 1x from this back last month. So if we look at coins like Zcash, I mean, we were at 40 US dollars, 50 US dollars just back in February. Um, you know, so, uh, you know, February, March, this is kind of where the, the market cap went under a trillion dollars. I mean, we just looked at it. So if you kind of put all these things together uh, and you see that the prices actually can increase uh, with the overall market cap moving up, then that will give you a pretty clear advantage over people that are just playing this game of holding uh, and buying when the price is up. Like buy when the price is down too. Like uh, that's the best way to do this. I mean, if I had money on the sidelines right now, I would be going all into Dash, Zcash, uh, Bitcoin SV, Bitcoin Cash, all these low uh, priced coins that are very undervalued. So I did want to come up here guys and make a video to let you guys know that um, you know, this, this, this market cap and cryptocurrency is increasing. I mean, it's increasing um, probably quicker than anybody could assume. And I think you will see an increase in price on all these coins that have dropped and people that could have bought these coins now uh, that are choosing not to, that have the available funds to purchase these cryptocurrencies. Um, you know, you guys might miss out because I don't think, that, I don't think Dash is going to go much lower. I don't think Dash is going to stay down in this price range anyways. Uh, same with Zcash and a few of these other cryptos. So guys, um, catch you in the next video. Got a lot of stuff coming up this week, so we'll, uh, we'll stay in it and we'll talk to you guys all soon. Have a great day.